Earlier I showed how to install LAMP via XAMP or ZAMP, I don't know how it's pronounced, in Windows. And LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, which is the web server, MySQL, which is the database management system, and PHP, although some people say that PHP can be replaced by Python and Perl. I disagree because WordPress needs PHP. Now I'm going to install LAMP on my Debian. First I want to See, I think this is the system on which when I installed the Debian, I asked it not to have Apache installed. Okay, exactly. There is no Apache here. So this is the system. I am going to go to another desktop. And I'm going to go into as a root terminal. I've mentioned beforehand you should go to a root terminal or super into root for minimum length of time and as soon as you're done you should get out of it. Get Update. The first part, the update, update, updates the list of all the packages, and then the second part apt get upgrade upgrades it and make sure that I've got all the latest packages okay now we're going to install the MySQL server we go again apt get this time it's an install MySQL server and my SQL client and I noticed that I'm missing a queue here good okay yes we need a root password for my SQL Again, aptitude, which is another name for apt-get. Um, each time asks you how many, I'm going to increase so many megabytes. The next thing is to enable the module. I don't know at this moment what that means, but I'm just doing it. I'm in my home I could just created 
public HTML. Okay, now we need to go back to root and change group. Okay, change group. www data home java public html Apache, now we're going to start or restart Apache. Let me see if Apache is working. So Apache has been installed. The next thing is to install PHP. I'm going to do everything else and then get to that PHP 5 MySQL afterwards. The PHP 5 MySQL. Oh. oh. Apt get install Perl lib Apache. To mod curl two, yes, And the class I'm taking actually does use Python, not Ruby. Okay. Apache 2 D Hold. Okay, I had the index.php in the wrong place and now it is working. It should have been in my home public HTML. In the next video, I will show how to actually install WordPress into the system now that we have a lamp running. And um, for me, installing WordPress is the test that LAMP is actually running. So thank you very much. Um, in the next one, we will install WordPress.